She's 88, by the way. Hello, this is Gladys. Hi, Gladys. It's Ellen. Well, there you are. Here I am. <laughs> How are you? Honey, I heard you say you were going to call me on the TV, and I was ready. Oh, good. Yeah, because this time you didn't answer saying, if you're selling something, I don't want to buy it. Well, we got the caller thing there that tells you when somebody's calling, but yours doesn't come up. No, no, because we're, we're, we've got some kind of blocked number or something like that. But thanks for picking up. Honey, you put Austin, Texas on the map. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Fantastic. What are, what are they doing there in Austin, Texas? They saw Now, you're, you're hugely famous probably, too. Well, I don't know if you realize how many people watch your show. Well, I hope but a lot. Everybody was talking about it at the grocery store. <laughs> and they're talking about it in the pharmacy, too. Oh. What, what do you get at the pharmacy, Gladys? I go there every time, and I just get my blood pressure checked for free. There's a machine. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, and then when I finish, I clear it, because everybody wants to see it, and that's fine. Good for you. Good for you. Hey, listen, so you saw the show since we talked, right? Honey, when, I appreciate that tape, because when I heard it the first time, I heard everybody laughing. Uh-huh. But when I got that tape you sent me, Lord have mercy, honey, just watching you have that conniption. <laughs> It was as, every bit as funny as the old Carol Burnett show with Har Harvey Corman yes. and uh, Tim Conway when they'd just get laughing and couldn't stop. That's what, I, I had to contain myself to continue on with the show. You, you make me laugh uh, very much, Gladys. I think you're, you're very funny. Well, you're a peach. Oh. <laughs> you're a plum. So, so I moved the plant, and uh, now it's just sitting behind me. Uh, did you see where I put it? I did, and I think it's a good place for it. <laughs> Okay. And I didn't, didn't think all this started from that silly little plant. Yeah, I know. So, now, do you, do you know what feng shui is? Have you heard of feng shui? Well, is it a food? <laughs> no, it's like, a, it's like a Japanese, it's a, sort of an idea that everything's supposed to face in a certain direction, either the east or certain, and certain colors, and then it kind of attracts the good energy. And so I was wondering if that actually might not be a good place. The plant may be blocking the, the flow, the feng shui. Well, I don't know if it's a, a feng shui or if it's in the way. <laughs> That's my, that was, that's what I'm thinking, too. <laughs> well, do you have, while I have you on the phone, do you have any other ideas that, to kind of help out the, because that was a good idea to move the plant. What, what else can I do that would, uh, that you think that would be really important to improve this show? Honey, you just keep on keeping on, because mm -hmm. everything you're doing is wonderful. Oh. And everybody appreciates being able to call you. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're sweet, Gladys. You're sweet. Um, th so, okay, but if you, if you have any ideas, if you think about anything, you're going to let us know, right? I will call you. All right. And, honey, I want to thank you for that tape. I, I tell you, I could watch it a hundred times, and it's like a, a little happy pill. You just pop it into VCR, and it, it brings a smile to my face every single time. That's what we try to do here, Gladys. And you know what? I could watch it a hundred times myself. I, I, I had so much fun. And we're going to check back with you uh, every once in a while. Is that all right? Honey, call me anytime, like I said. We love you in Austin. Thank you. I love you and I love Austin, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, Ellen.